And this is your news across Nevada. The unemployment rate in Las Vegas remained at 7.2% in March, but is down 1.2 percentage points from last year. All three of Nevada's population centers gained employment on a year-over-year -year basis. Las Vegas experienced the highest nominal growth in March, up 23,600 jobs, an increase of 2.7% relative to March of 2014. Reno Sparks added 5,800 jobs to payrolls, up 2.9%. Carson City added 200 jobs, up 0.7%. Statewide job numbers increased 2.8% year-over-year, adding 34,100 jobs. Senate Bill 252 is being considered in the Assembly. The bill would change the state's business license fee from a flat $200 annually to a graduated scale based on industry category and gross receipts. Under the measure, the minimum rate would be $400 for small businesses and could go as high as $4 million for the largest. The tax is part of Governor Brian Sandoval's $7.3 billion general fund budget proposal that includes $1.1 billion in new or extended taxes to pay for education. The proposed business license fee would raise about $250 million a year. Lawmakers have passed a bill aimed at helping Nevada collect more tax revenue from online retailers. The Senate unanimously passed SB 382. The U.S. Constitution's Commerce Clause prevents states from requiring a merchant to collect and turn over sales tax unless the business has a substantial base in that state. The bill creates the presumption that a company should collect and pay sales tax to the state if they have some physical presence in Nevada, unless they prove that their activity in the state is negligible. Supporters say the bill puts Nevada in a good position to collect the taxes, even though it would take congressional action to make major changes, forcing online retailers to pay state taxes. Nevada senators have approved a measure allowing for colleges or the state agricultural department to grow industrial hemp. Lawmakers voted unanimously to approve SB 305. The bill now moves to the year would allow governmental bodies to cultivate industrial hemp for agricultural or research purposes. The bill was amended to remove language allowing private growers to cultivate hemp. Industrial hemp differs from medical or recreational marijuana plants in THC content and appearance. Industrial cannabis products include things like hemp yarn. 19 other states have pilot programs to study industrial hemp. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Week in Sports is brought to you by Wolfenstein Construction. The PVHS baseball team lost a heartbreaker to Spring Valley on Monday, losing 3-1. to one. Spring Valley is tied with Faith Lutheran with only one conference loss. Pahrump has four conference losses and has a tied conference record with Sierra Vista, who they lost to on Wednesday 10-0. The PVHS softball team lost to Spring Valley 6-0 on Monday. The Trojans played tough defense, holding Spring Valley scoreless until the sixth inning, where they scored all six of their runs. Unfortunately, the Trojans were unable to battle back for a win. The softball team also lost to Sierra Vista 5-0 on Wednesday. Sierra Vista is in first place in the 1A Sunset Division with only one conference loss. Both the softball and baseball teams play Cheyenne High School at home tomorrow at 3.30. The boys golf team took second place in their league match. They played Angel Park on Wednesday in Las Vegas and four out of six golfers on the team scored in the 80s. Kelby Lindbergh shot an 81, Austin Ansel scored 82, Derek Moore shot an 85, Drake Asushin shot an 87, Cannon Hastings shot a 92, and Mike Hildebrand shot a 93. They play at Siena Golf Club in Las Vegas next Wednesday. The PVHS boys and girls track and field teams had a home track meet yesterday. The boys finished fourth place and the girls finished second. Individually for the girls, Kelly Middleton took first in the 100 meter and the first in the 200 meter run. Kelsey Souza took third in the 200 meter run. Sydney Dennis took second in the mile. Vanya Vito took third in the two mile. Kaylee Havel took third in shot put. Madison Shea was second in the discus. Annabelle Brophy was second in high jump. And Megan McDermott was second in the long jump and first in the 100 meter hurdles. For the boys, Dylan Montgomery took third in the 200 meter run and first in the 400 meter run. Bryce Odegaard took fourth in the 400 meter run and second in the two mile. Leron Sonerholm took first in the 800 meter run and second in the mile. Joseph Sladek took third in the mile, and Nico Cipollini took first in the pole vault. Boxers Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao have come to an agreement on their contract for their fight on May 2nd at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Tickets are now available, but the cheapest tickets available are $1,500. This is expected to be the largest grossing fight in history. 
Floyd Mayweather is favored and is undefeated in his career. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Salmon with News 46. Thanks so much, Courtney. Let's join Ron Chase with Nevada Public Auction. Hey, well, all right, sir, here this there. segment is sponsored by Nevada Public Auction. Uh, this week we have a fantastic auction. I've got four or five estates combined uh, for just all kinds of different goodies. It's one of those auctions where it's not online, it's just a regular auction, lots of furniture, antiques, tools, a lot of stuff outside. I even have like um, some desert plants outdoors, uh, patio benches. It's just a really full auction this weekend. You've got some silver here and some collectible. Yeah, absolutely. There's lots of Barbie dolls, uh, Bratz dolls, figurines, old Life magazines. And like I said, there's some silver there, there's some uh, a nice silver set. Also got some uh, like coffee tea set, you know, silver plated. Really, really a lot of nice stuff like that this weekend. Tell me about this tool bench over here in these ovens. There's actually one inside here. There's three or four outside too. There's a lot of nice rolling metal carts, big metal workbenches. Uh, the one she's referring to is a nice... Uh, like in your garage, a little work center that you can do all your little routing and stuff on. Also have some nice hand tools and power tools in here this weekend too. How can people find out more? Uh, for more information, you can call us here, 751-4867. Uh, uh, the website is auctionnv.com. And we're right off of uh, Highway 372 at 800 Margaret Street. It's one street past the hospital. And you can preview? Preview absolutely all day Friday from uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And the auction is now Saturdays at 10 a.m. because we're back to our summer hours. And for more information, they can either give you a call or go on the website. Absolutely. Website again is auctionnv.com or call me here, 751-4867. Hey, well, right, this segment there, is sponsored, here sponsored by Nevada Public Auction. Still like those rock'em sock'em robots he had. Well, here's Josh with this week's Great Computer Deals. Hi, this is Josh Osborne with Great Computer Deals, located right here in Pahrump, Nevada. It's time for another quick tutorial. Why does my PC run so slow? A slow PC can often be the sign of malware and viruses. If your computer is running outdated, or worse yet, no security software at all, you may be infected. One of the best things you can do is run a complete scan of your computer using a full security suite such as AVG or other highly regarded antivirus programs. Better known names such as Norton and McAfee will do the trick, but tend to be quite the resource hog. If you're still having issues, you may need to see a professional, as extreme cases require a reinstallation of the Windows operating system. Remember, keep your security software updated, and always remember to back up personal data. Are you still having issues with your computer? We can help you. Come down to our store. We're located on Highway 372, across from Big O Tires. Or give us a call. 775-990-8833. Return in just a moment with your weather. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. Today we had partly cloudy skies with a high of 73 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 81 degrees. So it is a little cooler outside than it usually is around this time of year. Winds were heading towards the south southwest today at 9 miles per hour with gusts up to 21 miles per hour. So those winds were picking up throughout today. The EV index today was 7, which is high. Humidity was at 22 percent. Sunrise was at 6.01 this morning, and the record high not that long ago in 2012 was 98 degrees. Well, tonight we'll have partly cloudy skies with a low of 47 degrees. Your average temperature on this time of year is 58 degrees. Well, winds will be heading towards the south-southwest at 12 miles per hour with gusts up to 16 miles per hour this evening. Humidity will be at 52%. Sunset will be around 725, and the record low back in 1937 was 36 degrees. Well, tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy skies and high winds. We'll have a high of 76 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. Winds will be heading towards the south-southwest at 18 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So those winds will be going up into the 30 mile per hour range. So make sure you're safe, especially on the roadways. Humidity will be at 42% tomorrow. Sunrise will be at 6 o'clock and the UV index will be 8, which is very high. For our seven-day forecast, again, partly cloudy skies and high winds tomorrow. Those clouds should be clearing up around this Sunday. We'll have nice sunny skies going through mid-next week. And then again on Sunday, we'll be seeing some more high winds there. 
You'll start to see some clouds rolling in late next week. Your high temperature will be starting off in the mid 70s. It'll be dropping down into the low 70s this Saturday and going right back up all the way into the low 90s mid next week. Your low temperatures will be looking at a similar pattern. It'll be starting off in the high 40s, dropping slightly into the mid 40s on Saturday and working its way up into the high 50s by mid next week. Thanks so much, Noah. Prompt Valley Youth Activities is celebrating their fifth year in the Valley with their summer program. This Friday and Saturday, April 24th and 25th, Saida Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram is holding a car wash from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. to benefit the program. Bring your vehicle to the dealership this weekend to have your car washed for free. They are taking donations in any amount. Valley Electric Association is inviting community members to attend the Operative's 2015 annual meeting this Saturday, April 25th at Prompt Valley High School on Calvada Boulevard. The 50th anniversary celebration will begin at 11 a.m. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46 from everyone up here at KPVM-TV. And of course on the radio, KA's Country 95.9. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.